And thanks for tuning in to today's video, we're going to have a look at weather for next week again in today's video. Of course yesterday I did a video uh, explaining about the cold weather starting to set in uh, from the east with uh, the high pressure building over uh, Scandinavia, northern block. Uh, it's still on course to get colder next week but there's some uncertainty now about how extensive this is going to be. Uh, certainly in terms of snowfall, uh, we're not really ridging the high pressure quite right to draw in that strong easterly wind out of the Urals and that really is the key to pushing those snow showers across uh, Central Europe in towards uh, the North Sea and then through into the British Isles. It certainly is going to get colder next week. Uh, we're in for a really cold spell uh, coming up uh, for at least three or four days, maybe five days next week. And then question marks about next weekend, we may start to see a transition towards uh, milder weather off the Atlantic, but as that happens, that could pr provide a lot of snow. And actually, out of this spell, it could well be the transition into a milder uh, Atlantic pattern uh, that provides us with the snow. Anyway, we'll go through the uh, charts in a minute before I get on with the uh, charts. I just want to talk about the advertising. There will usually be a video ad overlay my web videos, gaswebbits.com. Please play those in the ads, you'll be supporting in gaswebbits.com by doing that and Gav shop of course please go to Gav shop and do your shopping at amazon.co.uk by clicking on the amazon banners and going through to amazon uh, you'll be able to do your christmas shopping and support Gav's shop at the same time thank you very much for doing that so let's start off with the chart for Sunday. As I was explaining yesterday, this low pressure to the northeast of Scotland is really the trigger uh, for everything that happens next week, pushing southwards uh, through the north. And that is still forecast to happen as we move through in towards Monday. There's that low pressure slipping into uh, Denmark and Germany. And we've got the build of pressure uh, developing behind it. So up to Monday, everything looks on course, everything looks fine. Uh, as we go beyond this, though, uh, the uh, two areas of high pressure aren't ridging together. Remember yesterday I was saying about how the high pressure that develops around Iceland uh, ridges to the high pressure coming out of Russia and it all forms one big blocking area of high pressure uh, around Scandinavia, really stretching from Iceland uh, to Russia with the core of the high pressure over Scandinavia. Well, it's not quite uh, the case today. Now, still got nice blocking here around Iceland and we've still got the block of high pressure up over uh, Russia. That's the Siberian high, of course, but uh, we're not getting this uh, ridge uh, developing between the two and the reason is we've got little uh, short wave areas of low pressure just little features around uh, northern Scandinavia is just stopping uh, this uh, big block uh, being formed so something as insignificant as uh, this tiny little uh, short wave area of low pressure is actually uh, having huge ramifications across the whole of uh, the, our side of the Atlantic and on in towards uh, Europe as well. Now eventually we do get there as we move through to uh, Wednesday the 22nd we are getting that ridge beginning to develop though it's not as, as uh, strong or as extensive really as we were seeing on the charts yesterday. And the result of this is that we're not pulling in uh, this strong easterly wind out of uh, Central Europe and backing out in towards Russia. Everything is rather slack. Uh, we'd still be bringing snow showers here around these eastern and southeastern coasts. I'm pretty sure about that because warm, the uh, cold air is running over the North Sea. Uh, so yeah, there'd still be snow showers around the east coast, but we're not driving those showers inland on a strong easterly wind. Everything is all uh, rather slack. And as we move beyond this, actually, then we start to see see signs of the Atlantic trying to uh, come back in and the reason that's happening is again because the ridge is not as uh, strong or as extensive but don't get it wrong it's still very cold uh, temperatures by Thursday and Friday next week will be struggling uh, to get above freezing and here comes the low pressure trying to come in from the Atlantic by Friday bumping up against that cold air uh, the suggestion there is very much for uh, a snow event to develop across many parts of the British Isles. this is the GFS model by the way uh, going for a big snow then as we go through to the end of the week and next weekend uh, will be a lot of snow uh, with that although eventually the mild air will push through. The ECMWF is uh, quite similar again got these little short wave areas of low pressure here just uh, just making it more difficult really for the two areas of high pressure one over Iceland and the big one over uh, Russia to start to ridge together it's just sort of acting as a buffer against that happening now eventually to get through to Wednesday there is ridging taking place but again we've still got these little features around Scandinavia just sort of complicating uh, the issue but by the time we get through to Thursday then we've got a proper block uh, setting up uh, from Iceland to uh, Scandinavia back into Russia 
nice uh, blocking feature there. But I think still is rather slack here across England and Wales, so again, there's nothing really to penetrate uh, those snow showers inland. But there could well be a little trough or something develop uh, a bit nearer the time. It's too far away really for bowlers to be picking up on a little trough feature. So a little trough could develop somewhere in the North Sea and bring that snow in. I certainly wouldn't uh, rule it out. And as we go through to uh, Friday, what well, again, the cold weather is still being maintained here across the country. Uh, but but, but uh, beyond this, as we get into the weekend, then the ECMD are trying to bring the Atlantic in, uh, bumping up against that cold air, certainly the suggestion of quite a significant uh, event at some point over the next weekend before eventually the mild air begins to try and push through. And then finally the GEM, the Canadian, again it's a uh, similar idea for Tuesday, we've got the ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic around Iceland going up to Greenland, the other ridge over Russia but uh, we've got these little features here just over Scandinavia just stopping that ridging and uh, it never really does ridge actually as we get through uh, to the end of next week on the Canadian model. I'm not sure about this, it's probably uh, not quite right uh, but uh, if this is right then the ridges uh, from Iceland and from Russia never do really get together and uh, we just end up with a very simple push of uh, warmer air coming in off the Atlantic. This is uh, the uh, most mediocre really of the runs this morning if you're looking for a cold wintry spell next week. It's not that cold really and the Atlantic quickly comes through so that by Friday, by Friday uh, it's breaking down and we're bringing the Atlantic back in. So it uh, looks on the evidence, so it is going to get cold next week, we are in for a proper, some proper cold weather, daytime temperatures struggling to get above freezing, hard, maybe severe nighttime frost, snow showers certainly likely around eastern and southeast coast, but whether those snow showers are able to really penetrate inland, it's, uh, I'm not that certain about that. Uh, because we're not really picking up that strong easterly wind. And as we get through to the end of next week and into next weekend, the Atlantic trying to uh, push in, uh, coming up against that cold air. It may break the cold weather down, but it may produce some uh, really quite significant snow uh, as well. Now, come back tomorrow, we're doing the week head forecast, and we'll be able to follow up on all of this a little bit more. It may be that the uh, easterly will come back with more conviction. Tomorrow it could do. Uh, it has happened before like that. Uh, but the models that go with the idea, then drop it, then bring it back again. Uh, so come back tomorrow for that, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching.